a dream slash vision of an unprecedented storm. A dream slash vision of an unprecedented storm. Shalom, all praises, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wacha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, as well of men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy, to the elect of the nation of Israel, whom are you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whom are scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great, and abroad. And to you I say Shalom. And Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shairatiza, this lesson is edifying. Now in this lesson, I will expand upon a dream slash vision that I recently had before camp last Saturday. And Usually, I do not have these kind of dreams slash visions. They may happen every once in a while, but nonetheless, as we approach the end, the Lord said that he would cause the elect to experience dreams and visions in the book of Joel the second chapter he had said that he would cause the old men to see dreams and the young men see visions roughly paraphrasing the scripture again in the book of Joel the second chapter the latter end of the chapter and so without further ado let's get into the dream or vision if you want to call it that that I'd experienced not too long ago and so it started off like this basically myself and a dear brother of mine Kodor Shapat were in a school and the day had came and where you are now eligible to leave the school but before he could have had done so the headmaster of the school who was standing at the gate of it was pretty much trying students out that were eligible to leave the school to make sure that they were indeed able to do so. Otherwise, they couldn't have left the school. And so, when you were about to leave the school, after being confronted and tested by the headmaster at the gate, we had passed his quizzes, which left him very pleased. And so he had allowed us to leave the school. And shortly after doing so, everything began getting dark. And suddenly we had heard the scream of a young lady. And we looked in her direction and we saw her pointing. And so we looked in the direction that she was pointing. And at a very great distance, we saw an unprecedented storm like tornado that was fast in size and strong in pressure, as if it was a black hole in itself. And it was so strong that people both near 
and a four, even a four distances were being other pulled into it or blown away from it. And people, after seeing this, began to panic. However, me and brother were in a calm, balanced state of mind since everything that we were taught at the school had prepared us for situations slash scenarios as the one that we were experiencing in the dream slash vision. Therefore, we were at ease. Nevertheless, we still had to recollect and apply what we were taught in school to the situation. And we could have had done two things. We could have had A, built a strong foundation, or B, there was another foundation. And this is where things get very, very interesting, brothers and a few sisters out there. There was another foundation that we could have had started building on that was nearby to protect ourselves. And this very foundation was one that was always at the very spot that we had seen it. And people would usually pass by, neglect it. But that very same foundation, which we began building upon for refuge to keep ourselves unmovable as bedrock and stable from that slow moving force of nature is what kept us safe and we kept telling people to come over here build, build upon this build upon this build upon this foundation and that's the only way you're going to be able to survive this unprecedented storm lease you get blown away with the rest some didn't listen and some did and to those that did listen they along with us were reserved from hurt and we were again as I said it earlier unmovable Okay. Even though this thing was so strong in force and great in pressure, fast in size. And one of the things that was interesting to us was the fact that it was moving very, very slow as if it had a mind of its own. You know, it was moving very slow. Because usually people would want to see things like that move very quickly to just get the, you know, problem it over with as quickly as possible. But this storm like tornado was moving very slow. And that concludes the dream. And Lord's willing, you brothers and a few sisters followed along because you know I explained it to the best of my abilities as slow as I possibly can to pretty much you know explain it you know as clearly as I, as I could but uh, <clears throat> excuse me
but uh, that was it. And so now let's review it and break down what each part meant. Now, I remember I said that me and the brother were in a school. And now that school represented the ministry, the ministry of our Lord, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, which is the ministry of Great Millstone, which is headed and overseered by our apostles and elders, beginning with El Apostle Tahar, El Apostle Gabar, El Apostle Rakha, El Apostle Ramlab, and the Connecticut elders, on down to the older brothers, on down to us younger men. Okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Wacha Kodash. Okay? That is what the school represented. It represented the ministry. And the headmaster represented the elder apostles, beginning with elder apostle Tahar, on down to elder apostle Gabor, elder apostle Racha, elder apostle Ramlab, and the elders beneath them. Okay? And before we woke up to this truth, we were spiritually dead to who we were according to the scriptures. We were spiritually dead to the true and only names of Yahweh, which is the true and only name of the power of the nation of Israel. And Yahweh Shai, the true and only name of our Lord and Savior, His only begotten Son. You are spiritually dead to these things until the Lord revealed Himself to us through our Lord Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, through our apostles and elders and old brethren of Great Millstone, because we cannot learn the truth on our own. We need teachers to teach us. And here is a scripture to prove that. Romans chapter 10 verse 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of, of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And this is the point. And how shall they hear without a preacher? So you see, how can we learn this truth without being taught? Nevertheless, you have proud men out there that claim that they learn this truth on their own. But anyway, going back to the dream, again, the headmaster represented the elder apostles. Okay, because they look out for our souls and they make sure that we are teaching the sound doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, and so moving on further into the dream, the unprecedented tornado like storm represented Jacob's trouble. But before I go even further, I'd like to read these scriptures to further bring more edification to the point concerning the school. Because remember, the school represented what? The ministry. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27 through 28, verse 27. Now ye are the body of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and members in particular. And so the body of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, 
is comprised of many different members, which represents the elect of the nation of Israel, that have been given different tasks within the body of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay? It has been established in different offices. And Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, had set some in the church, first apostles, keyword there, first apostles, which again, the apostles represented the headmaster at the gate. Okay? Secondarily, prophets. Thirdly, teachers. After that, miracles. Because remember now, within a school, you have what? You have the students, the teachers, and the headmaster. And of the students, you have the, the freshman, the sophomore, the junior, and then you have the seniors. Okay? So there's levels to things. Charlie teaches, after that, miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. And so these things are a part of our Lord Yahweh Shai's body. Okay, that's part of the ministry because brothers have different gifts, different offices, different talents that the Lord utilizes through them for the building and the, the, for the perfecting of his body and for the edification of the church. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 through 16. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the working of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach Yehoshai. So we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of Yahweh Bashem Yehoshai. Unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the stature of the fullness of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. And one of the reasons why we were able to remain stable despite the great storm within the dream slash vision is because we recalled and stood to what we were taught, not diverting from what we were taught, but rather sticking and applying what we were taught, for we were not tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. And it says, and cared about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness Whereby they lie and wait to deceive. And that applies ultimately to the elect. The elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah will not be tossed to and fro by any wind of doctrine, by anything outside of the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. Okay? No matter what these devils may try to to, to you brothers and few sisters out there that are the elect in terms of perversing your minds, your spirit, they will not suck they will not succeed. It's impossible. No man can pluck out the elect out of the hands of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? And the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai is with his elect, man. And cared about with every wind of doctrine by the slave men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Hamashiach, even is a, is a, a old English word which means for witches. Hamashiach, Yahushai, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supply according to the effectual working in the measure of every part maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love and so again the lord has established different offices within his bodies within his body excuse me 
and has appointed those offices to certain men, certain members of the elect. Okay, and ultimately, every elect member has their own respective role to fulfill within the body of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, or Lord. Okay. And this is what we had read earlier in the book of Romans, the, the, the tenth chapter, concerning the headmaster, you know, being the apostles that taught us and the elders. Okay, let's read it again. Romans chapter ten, verse thirteen to fifteen, verse thirteen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashmi Shai shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring good glad tidings, excuse me, glad tidings of good things. And so now let's move on to the storm. And now remember the storm represented what? As we had said it earlier, Jacob's trouble, the adversities that the Lord Yahweh, through Son Yahweh Shai, is going to bring upon this planet to punish the sinners of his people, would say that the evil shall not overtake nor prevent them. Okay, pursuant to the book of Amos chapter 9, verse 10. Okay. And this is the parable from our Lord Yahweh Shai. And there was a song that was sung by a Benjamite. Benjaminite by the name of Ika Mouse. I'm sure you, uh, some of you brothers out there, you know, you uh, Benjaminite brothers might know who uh, Ika Mouse is, and he uh, made a song called uh, Noah's Ark. <clears throat> and the song was pretty much inspired off of this scripture right here, the parable that our Lord Yahweh Shai had uh, told us here in the book of St. Measure, chapter 7, verse 24 through 27. Now it says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man. Now, remember, the key word is what? That whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, of who? Of Yahweh Shai, and what? And doeth them. Not do his own thing, but what? Doeth the sayings of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Which is what? Sticking to sound doctrine, okay? Not being tossed to and fro. And that's what we had metaphorically uh, done in that dream. You know, we stood to what we were taught and we built upon that foundation who represented Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shire, our Lord. And we will get to that as well, okay? And Lord's willing, this is comforting as well as exhorting you know, slash edifying to the elect. Because, you know, the main goal of these lessons are to edify, you know, to edify the elect. Now it says, uh, And do of them I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house, meaning his, his spiritual house, his mind, upon a rock. Who is that rock? Or Lord Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Okay, and the Father Yahweh, through our Lord Yahweh Shai. You will get scriptures to prove that after we finish reading this parable. And the rain, which represents what? The adversities, the things that the Lord is going to bring upon this earth during the times of Jacob's trouble in the form of the four kinds pursuant to the book of Jeremiah. The sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. These are the four kinds that the Lord will appoint over the sins of his people in the times of Jacob's trouble, in which times we are approaching very swiftly. And the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, but it was found upon a rock. And so to the elect brethren and sisters out there, you will be unmovable, for you will be and are found upon the rock. Who is our Lord Yahweh Shai? Lord is with him of the elect. That's our rock, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? And none other. Are you going to be like that rock when 
the wind blows, you know, when all the trials and tribulations come comes upon us, Lord's willing, we will be like that rock, you know. Everything we say, we must always say, Lord's willing. Okay, Lord's willing, we'll do this, we'll do that. Lord's willing, we will be like that rock. Okay, which our Lord, Yahweh Shai, here is comparing unto a man that doeth the things that he says. Okay, which is what? Feed his sheep, you know. If you love me, feed my sheep. You know, keep the commandments to the best of our abilities. You know, so on and so forth. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and blew upon the a blew upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Why? Because that house was built upon sand. It was built upon that which is not sure. It wasn't built upon a sure foundation. It wasn't built upon something that can keep it stable from the wind from the rain and from floods and that's what's going to happen to two thirds of the nation of Israel they're going to be like a man that built his house upon sand so when all the trials tribulations and adversity comes upon them they'll be blown away and swept away with it now concerning the rock who is our Lord Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai Second Samuel chapter twenty two verse one two three and David spake unto the Lord Yahweh words of his song in the day that the Lord Yahweh had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul and he said the Lord Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer the power of my rock in him will I trust he is my shield and the horn of my salvation my high tower and my refuge my savior thou savest me from violence. And the Lord's gonna save, Lord's willing, I'm up the elect, as well as you, brother, not there. A few sisters is elect from the violence of Jacob's trouble, from the violence of the great storm that's about to come. Okay? Psalm chapter 18, verse 2. The Lord Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my power, my strength, in whom will I trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. The Lord is our high tower. He's our buckler. He's the horn. He's the strength of our salvation. He's our fortress, okay, to protect us, to keep us. Second Samuel 22, verse 24, I was also upright before him and have kept myself from my iniquity. Psalms chapter 62, Verse 2, chapter 94, verse 22, chapter 62, verse 7, chapter 91, verse 2, and chapter 71, verse 3. Chapter 62, verse 2. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Yahweh Shem Shai, they are our rock. They are our defense from the things that is going to come soon upon the planet Earth. Okay? Verse nine, uh, chapter 94 verse 22 and it says that I shall not be greatly moved why? because we will be like that man that built his house upon a rock so that when the wind and the floods come we will be unmovable we will not be greatly moved Psalms chapter 94 verse 22 but the Lord Yahweh is my defense and my power Yahweh Shai is the rock of my refuge. And the Lord is our refuge. Okay, whenever things are going bad, we run to our Lord for refuge, for protection. Okay, for recovery. Psalm 262, verse 7. And Yahweh Shai is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in Yahweh Shai. Psalm 71, verse 3. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. See that? 
Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Beautiful scripture, man. Absolutely beautiful. And the Lord is our strong habitation. Okay? Our place of rest. Our place of stay. Okay? Psalm 91 verse 2, I will say of the Lord Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my power, in Him will I trust. And I uh, added a lot more, you know, because Lord, and I wanted to, you know, go more in depth into our Lord Yahweh Shai being the chief cornerstone. But I will conclude the lesson here and I will come back with a part two. Okay, Lord's willing later on. And this will be a separate lesson entitled the chief cornerstone from this point on right here. And so that was the dream. And Salakia, you, you know, for making the video long. But uh, that was pretty much it. You know, Lord's willing, it was edifying to the elect. You know, and again, I tried my best to explain everything that I remember to the best of my abilities as clearly as possible. And filled everything through the scriptures. And so with that, Shalom to the elect. Until the next Lord's willing. Shalom. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Bashem Akakodash Brakatam. Shalom.